Okay. I think we're good. Woo! Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome to Fears to Fathom episode 2. This one is called Norwood Hitchhike. I am currently streaming this on Twitch. If you would like to join me over on Twitch, it is twitch.tv slash a girl in a game. I stream there every week. This game series is based on true events, so people will email stories to the creator and they will create a, an episode based around it. So I'm gonna read episode two for you guys so you can know what this episode is about. In the second episode of Fierce to Fathom, you play as Holly Gardner, a 19 year old who was driving back home from a gaming convention. As the traffic got horrible, she decided to take the long way to avoid traffic, which leads to an unplanned trip to a motel. Little did she know what was going down in Norwood Valley, she survived as she made the right choices. This sounds extremely creepy because she, she's a lady, she's a girl, alone, and going to a hotel or a motel by herself in the middle of nowhere. Oh God, it's, oh, I'm, I'm creeped out. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first. But getting it out may help, even just for a little bit. I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. I'd go every convention I get a chance to. Yo, I used to do that too. And sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled of the idea of me going to the interstate drives, but a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at, uh, I was at went great. And it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. It was little over a 12 hour- GIRL YOU DON'T DO THAT! Can I just say that if you have no choice but to drive, do not go to some random back ass road. Take the main road. Doesn't give- don't- I don't give a crap if there's traffic. This is for your safety. Don't do that! Oh my god, that is so horrible. I've- I've been on road trips that t take that long, you know what I mean? So like- Never go. Oh god. I'm driving. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. I'm gonna turn off the music because I'm scared that might be copyright. Girl, no, you don't do this. I'm scared. Oh god, what if something jumps? Oh, what if something jumps out at her? Oh, hello? Oh god, I'm oh <laughs> I'm crashing into a tree! My bad. <laughs> I'm crashing into a tree. Hang on. Guys, we're running. <laughs> I'm running up. We're good. Wait, did I lock these? Are these doors locked? Please tell me these are locked. These are locked, right? Please tell me they're locked. I want to read the text messages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aiden, Discord. We got ticks. So, I'll see you if I can get a car. Let me know. Finally going to take uh, Milo on a walk. A-R-L, -A -A LOL. Okay, the plan is on. Hell yes. Wait, you're getting in the car? Yep. Big girl. You sure Ash can't come? I'll get a skateboard too. Saw this really cool skate park nearby. Sounds fun. Discord. Where are you? Almost there. I don't see you. Pink peach shirt. It was fun. I had a good time. Thanks for joining me. Again, uh, are you sure you want to drive all the way back? I really don't have a choice now, do I? Could have left tomorrow morning. Okay, give me a call when you have reached back to your... When you reach back to your cave. Okay, dad. Not sure if it'll be this lifetime though. What do you mean? Stuck in the biggest traffic jam in the country. That sucks. It's not too good here either. I think it's the people from the convention. That's it. I'm rerouting here. You gotta do what you gotta do. Girl, no. And dad. Okay, let me drive up a little bit because I feel kind of creeped out. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna drive a little bit. Let me just drive a little bit. I'll read the text messages from dad in a second. Yo, I'm- uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Girl, why would you do this? Like, there's- I don't see any street lights either. That makes it even f***ing worse. There's just, like, chain link fence everywhere. And trees. Hell to the no. Oh god, dad, hello. Okay, let me- let me park, let me park. Don't text and drive, kids. Don't do that. You called? Yeah, I think that I'm gonna go to that convention. Could I please get to- could I get your car for, like, five days, please? With who? Aiden, that internet friend, he's a nice guy. No, you're not going to a 10 hour drive by yourself. Well, I've already made up my mind. I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? I'll, let's talk when I get home. Drive safe, Holly. Don't forget to call me. You got it, dad. 
Aiden Williams. Uh, I think that's just their their contacts. Anything else? Leaving now. Drive safe, Holly. Where did you reach? Still about six hours away from the city. It got stuck in a traffic jam. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. No! <laughs> no! Okay. Hello. Oh, oh, gas station, gas station, gas station. Shit, don't crash, don't crash. Hang on, hang on, I gotta park. I gotta park. I am like the worst at this. I'm so sorry. But um, this girl's going by herself. I'm surprised her dad was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I would not. If this was my kid, hell no, I'm going with you. But if you're gonna go on a long road trip, make sure you have a spare tire, like gas canister, like all these things. Don't just like, you know, do this by yourself. I'm gonna get back in the car for one second. <laughs> Let me read my phone. <laughs> Told you to take that flight. Oh, Holly, it's gonna be late when you reach back. I hope you're feeling all right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get out. I gotta be brave. This is so creepy, I hate this. Why is it so dark? Girl, have a weapon too, that's another thing. Get like a stick or something. Oh my God. Okay, let's go into the Norwood gas station. We're going in here. Okay. Hey! Okay, hi, okay. Hi, sir. He looks so handsome. What a very handsome fella. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Why is he staring at me like that? The heck? Holly? Mom? Hello, sir. Ma'am? Wait, I have to give a voice. Mom? Uh, hi, can I get ten pump? A uh, ten dollar on pump two? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You head into the bridge by yourself? Okay, I'm not trying to like profile this man, but I don't know you and this is creepy. Can I just say right now, try not to say like, especially to people you don't know, like where you're going and where you're heading, especially if you're by yourself. You gotta act like you're with a group or something like that. The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. Oh great, there's gonna be kidnapping, I swear. Or like, we're dead. And people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. <laughs> cool! <laughs> okay, let's look around. Um, in the meantime... Uh... Why is there a creepy van outside? Was that there before? Wait, was that there before? <laughs> Why does this guy look like someone's dad? <laughs> you heard about the Norwood Valley monster? Let me ask him this. Huh? The Norwood Valley monster. You know anything? Big mistake. Wait, big mistake, sir. What do you mean big mistake? Hello? Excuse me. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Wait, well, let me try to talk to him. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Why did he say big mistake like that? Does he know something? Yo, I'm kind of freaked out now. Select an item. Oh, cola, chocolate, soda can. Consuming these items increases your sprint speed. We're gonna buy something because if that's indicating anything, um, I think I'm gonna have to run in this episode. Oh God. Oh God, I don't wanna go out there. Why is there a van out there? One more thing. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Yo, that guy got a dumpy though. Did you see his ass? Just step on the gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks revenge after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstance pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. 
Oh. Who the fuck is that guy? Was he just coming from my car? What? Hello? What did he do? I'm 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 creeped out. I'm creeped out. Why did he do that? Was that was that my bag there before? Like I'm so I'm so concerned. Oh god. Uh, okay, this is from mom. I don't know if you find any shops at this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you get something for Milo? I'll pay you back. Mom, I'm not home. Do we just go? Wait. Oh wait. No, I, ha I have to put the gas in. Sorry. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, my park- Oh, I have to park the car a little bit closer, my bad. But yeah, that is kind of my fault. Since my mom asked, I had to buy something for Milo from the store. Oh, okay. Why are we buying dog food? Like, just get- Get this later. Or tell- Or tell the mom to get it herself. This- Yeah. Okay, here we go. I need some dog food? Wait. That'll be five dollars, man. We got the dog food for Milo. Let's keep moving. I'm still creeped out by that fucking weird ass fan. Wait. No. Huh! Damn it. Huh! Okay. I'm sure that works. <laughs> Oh, I should keep it as a weapon, right? To beat some beat someone with uh, dog food. Okay, so where do we go now? Just keep going straight? Dude, I'm so scared. What if we run into that weirdo in, in the van again? Oh, God. Okay, here we go again. On the road again. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. Monsters truly do exist, bitch. What? And every single one, those looks are like you and me. Hi, Clementine. Oh, Clementine, don't. <laughs> I'm playing a horror game. Please don't do this. I know. I'm scared. Please. It's not expired or anything, right? Okay, you know what? Fuck mom. F mom, I don't... Why did my lights go out? I think Clementine senses that I'm stressed out. <gasps> ah! What's going on? Why are we in a rave? I hate this. Oh my god! This is like some shit car. No, this is her dad's car, isn't it? Dude, I can't see anything! What happened to the- What happened to the headlight? Oh my god. Dude, this is a mistake. Why the fuck did she think it was a good idea to drive by herself like this? In the back roads. Like, what kind of lunacy do you... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm... Oh god, this is creepy. Can we turn on the radio? Nope, that makes it worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't even know if that song's copyrighted or not, but it kind of feels worse. Did I break the headlight? Maybe it was me because I crashed the car. Oh god, it might have been me. That's a good point. It might have been me. Oh. oh, isn't this the bridge? Isn't this the bridge? Hey, yo, what's going on? Why is it like staticky? Okay, I'm, I'm uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable. I ain't getting out of the fucking car. Fuck off. Whoever's out there. B fucking lady ghost. Whatever. Oh my god. This is a- <gasps> No! Oh my god, I can't see! This is horrible. This is horrible. 
Like, at least if we were with a friend, this wouldn't be so bad, you know what I mean? But we're by ourselves. Why? Why is there just a car there? I'm not- I'm not getting out. Fuck off. I'm not getting out. Nope. Nope. Rule number one of traveling by yourself- OH MY GOD A BUNNY! I'm, <laughs> I'm traveling by yourself on the road? Don't get out of your fucking car unless it's an emergency. Like, if the car's on fire, for example. That's the time you can get out. The car's not on fire. Oh my god, please stop. If the car's not on fire, I ain't getting out. There's this very weird thing about night. I saw two big logs in the middle of the road blocking the way ahead. No! They're gonna make me get out of the car! Let me ram it. Thought I could drive past logs, but those wouldn't budge. Bitch, what? What? We live in the car now! <laughs> oh my god! I don't want to get out! Can I just turn around and like, can we drive somewhere else? Is there like a, like I can turn off? No, it's all gated. I think it's all gated. Bitch. Oh my god. What do we do? Can I like hop over this? No? Oh, you can move it! Those were heavy. No! No! The car wouldn't start back up! <gasps> no, 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 no! Please start! Please start! And I just... Just like that, I was stranded in the middle of nowhere with no phone. To oh my god, you think that guy with the van fucked up our car? Remember, he was standing near our car? I would have been lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. She has no cell service. She can't call anybody. But at that moment, I had no choice. We're the fucking hitchhiker. We're the hitchhiker. 10.23 PM. Oh my god, this is actually- this is a nightmare. Because like, this happens to people in real life. Even like- Oh my god, we're gonna get fucking kidnapped or killed. I saw a car nearing. Where? <gasps> get a stick! Get a stick! Pure evil. I didn't understand how somebody could leave another human being stranded like that. What a bitch! Whoever that guy was. Fuck you. What do I do? Yeah, I would have waited for morning too. Fuck that. Lock all the doors and don't fucking get out till morning. Do we get out? Oh my god. Get the log? At this point, you might as well. Um, hello? Girl, get a stick. Like, a get a log. I don't care what it is. Just get a weapon. Watch us be like some creepy man. Hello? Hello? It's that fucking guy from the gas station! You're the girl from the gas station. Um, didn't think anyone would stop for me here. What are you trying to do out here? I think my car is just broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. Girl, don't say that. You think I can get a ride? Where are you heading? Just up the road, the nearest stop where I can call for help. Hop in. Thank you so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back there. I won't be here for too long. Oh my, okay, let me get my shit first. Yo, I don't- Okay, chat, do you trust this guy? Yes or no? Are we trusting this creepy-ass man? He's the guy from the, the gas station who, who had a dumpy. He had a dump truck? That's the dumpy man. No, no. Chris says yes. GMC says yes. 
We gotta get the dog food for Milo. God damn, why'd he park so far away too? No, but trust him anyway at this point, I guess. I only have two hands. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> well, dumpies are usually safe. <laughs> the other two in there game won't give us any other options right oh my god i hope this guy's not a fucking creeper beat his ass with the dog food i have to put it in the back though oh god should i leave the hat like fuck the hat at this point that's what i say wait huh but I kind of want to get the hat. Fuck it, we're getting the hat. Can I wear the hat and like use that as a weapon? That's possible, right? Okay, let's go. We gotta get our gamer hat. <laughs> Alright, here we go. What if he just took off with all my shit? That'd be horrible. Oh god. How do I get in? Sir? Wait. Or, okay, um. Can you help me get my stuff? <laughs> no, I'm gonna say I'm done. Finally, now hop in. Be quick. Why are you being so creepy about it, too? Alright, alright. I don't want any trouble. Don't want any trouble. Don't want any trouble. Can we turn on the radio? So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going? I'd rather not stay if that's okay. I live really close from here. I was driving home. I'd rather not stay if that's cool. If you say so. I don't know if I can trust this man. Like, I don't want to be like, hey, I'm by myself. Like, she's just like a young girl. This, that's why this is creepy. You're really lucky I had been on the side of the town tonight. I must say, you are one brave young woman. How's that? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. It's an old car. I don't know. I think it was the- Somebody fucked up her car. That guy in the van, whoever that was, fucked it up. I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Even then- Okay, maybe we can trust this guy. Because he's kind of even like- are you sure about that? Maybe he can be trustworthy? So what do you think what he told you back in the gas station? He really creeped me out. Okay, I'm gonna try to be nice. Let's see if he can tell me something. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. So is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are... There are some things. And I'm afraid for your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey, listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Bother who? Who? What? Who are we bothering? What? Like a, like a monster or people? You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Okay, that's fine. Okay, maybe this man- Maybe this man is just- Just wary because maybe the people in this area are- Are fucked up too. Okay, maybe he's- He's trustworthy, I hope. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Oh no, sir, I maybe I should have gone with him. I think he's actually a nice guy. Girl, what the fuck? Isn't this a gas station man? The man was putting on the creepiest vibes imaginable. Wait, Sandman, is that you? Or is this some other dude? Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Uh, how much is... 
Um, yes, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. How much is a room? 40 for a single. Pay cash only. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh. Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. $90. Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Yo, this Bates Motel, what's happening? Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take it very nicely to it. Excuse me? Okay, that's totally not creepy. Yup. Yup. Totally not creepy. Okay, I'm gonna just close this because you're freaking me out, sir. Not approved for Occupy? Oh, bitch. No, no, I'm not gonna... Wasn't feeling it. I, th I think I'm fine because I don't know how much money we have yet either. Can I pick... Oh, I can't even pick up my skateboard because I was like, can I take a skateboard to like hit this guy or something? Why do I feel like they're gonna kidnap her? Oh my god, this is so creepy. Okay, room number nine, right? And don't wake up any of the guests? Why? Let's just stay in the room and not leave. Oh, oh. <gasps> signal, signal. Dad, I may have to stay at a motel tonight. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up the call? What do you mean reroute? Holly? Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Oh, shit. Shit. Well, I can't even answer because it seems like her signal's still not, like, working. Just it's nice, rude to wake up the other- I mean, yeah, I guess so, but, like, this is my room, right? It was nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell. Type of musky smell you, you get from old houses. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so creeped out! You're supposed to look at the hotel room to make sure there's nothing we- Oh god, make sure there's nothing weird. Where's the mattress at, the hell? Why is there no mattress? What's going on? Okay. I think we're good. Woo! Um, bye. Um, bye. Why was there a man standing there? Why was there a man standing there? No, bitch. Get out of here. No, no, no. No, I want a refund. There's a fucking guy in the bathroom. You have a great night's sleep. What do you mean great night's sleep? There's some dude there. Ew. <laughs> why, why did he look like that? <laughs> uh, what are you doing here? Um, you scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tommy, room service, here at Broadway Inn, the finest slopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. Okay, uh, guy at the front desk gave me this room. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. You think this guy's doing something creepy into the room? It's probably cameras because that is actually pretty common. Hi, are you done? Uh. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. Okay, <laughs> all right. But don't you worry. It's safe here. I go get your car. And also, the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask at the front desk. Why is the phone not working? Why is the phone- Bitch, I swear they're gonna kidnap her. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. <laughs> but you have a good night. Okay, step back from me. Get away from me. My stuff are st my stuff's still out there. <laughs> Wait. Okay, let's tr let's let's tr let's check this out. How do 
I hang this up? Hello? It sounds like it's working, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Isn't that a dial tone? What about the TV? The TV works. What's this? Pills? Why is there p That's not normal in hotels, is it? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Wait, can I open these drawers? Hang on. No? Okay. Oh fuck, I feel like- Oh god, this closet is kind of creeping me out, not gonna lie. Um, I think there's supposed to be a shower here and it's missing. <laughs> I don't think it loaded in. I clicked the bed. I didn't mean to. <gasps> Call it foresight, but there was something very off about this place. Why is there some guy there? I couldn't shake off the feeling that something wasn't right. Maybe it was my tiredness over becoming my anxiety. A hot cup of coffee would help, I thought to myself. No, don't drink anything, girl. Please don't drink anything. No, 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 no. I don't think you should drink that. No, I, I don't. Th how, about, how about you just splash some water on your face and that's it? Let me leave the closet door open so I know if there's some dick who came into the room and like hide there. You know what I mean? Oh, there's another machine here. I'm an idiot. That's all. I'm just stupid. There's another one over here. Who the fuck's talking? There's someone there? Do you guys hear that? Espresso. Why is it not worth anything? I think they drugged her the, the coffee, right? Am I wrong? I feel like this is not normal. Because, like, if this was just regular coffee, they would charge you for it. I'm just, I swear she's going to be drugged or something. What happened? What happened? Oh my god, all the controls are, revert are inverted. What the- Oh god, they drugged her. They- They drugged her. Oh my god. All the controls are inverted though. Dad? Dad, I can't even see your fucking messages. Oh my god. Is this our room? I can't see anything. Where's the mouse? They're gonna kidnap her or kill her. What the fuck? See, that's why you don't trust coffee that's free. <laughs> why was that free? That's not normal. 3.18 a.m. Uh, 3 a.m. is when ghost stuff happens, right? See, they're ghosts or they're gonna just kill me. I don't know. I was sedated. Now that's for sure. Didn't they say the phone wasn't working? Hello? Why is it ringing? Do I have to answer that? I don't want to answer it. What the fuck? I'm gonna hang that up. <laughs> I am not talking to no demon. Sorry. Nope. Um, why is all my stuff in the corner like that? I'm picking up the skateboard. Fuck off. Is that the hotel manager? Who the fuck's that guy? Is there someone in my closet? Bitch.
bitch. If there's someone in there, I'm fucking throwing this at you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Joe from the front desk, open the door. Hi, Joe. Hi. Didn't I specifically tell you not to wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those n goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Why are your eyes all red? Mention the coffee machine. Are you messing with me? We don't have no copy machine here. It's right over there. Okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once, I thought we had sober guests, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. What? Follow me. I hate my job. Wait, the machine is gone? Yo, Joe, get the hell out of the way. Joe, you following me? Okay. Open the closet? Wait, should we do that? Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah! Wait, wait, come here, come here! Bro, can you come into the room? I can't open the door. I can't open the door. What happened? Show me your coffee machine now! I said go back. Now! What? What do you mean go back? Did you not hear me? I said go back to the room and don't get out! Check the table by the TV. Why? There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the table by the TV. Why? Why? Why is this being weird now? Why is this trunk open too? What the fuck? This wasn't open before. Okay, I don't like this. The closet door's open. That guy- that guy left. Oh my god. Requires water. Okay, you know what? Let's just drink this. Who gives a shit right now? This is so fucking creepy. I don't like this. He said don't leave the room, right? What the fuck? Is this voice activated? I think you might have to answer the door. Is there somebody there? Ew! Why was there some guy saying hello at the- at the- hello. There's a guy there! Hello? Ew! Don't whisper that in my ear. What the fuck? Okay, do it so we can get it over- Okay, wait, where's my skateboard? I'm gonna fucking clonk this guy in the head. Stop saying hello to me, weirdo! I'm not opening the door. Who is it? Please open the door. I need your help. What do you want? I need your help. Please. Please open the door. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not a cop. Please go away or I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Bitch, why did my dog bark right then? <laughs> to this day, I finally find it really weird that the manager in inferred not to get the police involved as if it would affect the motel's reputation and let go of the situation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. I think it may have been like sex trafficking or something like that. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. 
I never went on long trips again. I would always take airplanes. Oh my god. Who was that guy though? actually really good i like this episode this episode was a lot of fun but dude why was my dog barking right when i was in the closet <laughs> holy hell was that joe i don't know because like all the models look the same so i'm not really sure who that guy was 